it's been nearly four years since this man made a professional ring walk. Career spanning over three decades, two world and four European titles. Damien Trainer there, recognised globally as a Muay Thai legend. And many didn't think they'd see him back in a professional ring, but tonight he makes his return. And Dave, just put into context for those watching at home just how significant his return is tonight. Yeah, it's massive. I mean, Damien's been in the sport, like you say, for so many years. I used to watch him when I was a kid. I think he, he, he's fought some epic, epic battles. I mean, we saw Andy Hosen earlier. Those two have had some wars. Um, he's fought Dean James. If he's fought everybody, he's fought all over the world. Uh, he's just had some time out. He had a, he had a kid. Uh, I think he's got a son. Uh, now his son's a little bit older. He's got back in training. It's great to see him back in there. Well, we hear the term ring rust banded around. But uh, that is something that seriously could affect him tonight, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this international full-time rules bout will take place in the minus 55 kilogram division over five three-minute rounds. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. He brings a record of 23 wins with five losses and two draws, representing Dython Jim in Spain. Please welcome Adrian Lopez. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He brings a record of 64 fights with 58 wins and only six defeats. He's one of the UK's most accomplished fighters in the last 20 years. Please welcome, making his long-awaited return to the ring, it's Damian Trainer! Gentlemen, come to the centre. Gentlemen, this fight will be fought under full Muay Thai rules. You understand those rules. Protect yourselves at all times. Have a good fight. Good luck. Go to your corners. And four years out of a professional ring for Damien Trainer. He makes a Just huge ready. return here at the O2 in London. And, well, he's not chosen a small stage to come <laughs> back on, has he, Dave? No, main event at the uh, Muay Thai Grand Prix. It's quite a statement to, to say, I'm back, people. Damien's been here time and time again. Season pro, horrible, horrible left hook to the body he has. Uh, that left hook to the body, right Boxers low ready. kick combination I would Round expect one. to see Box. here. So Adrian Lopez, Spaniard, is the opposition in front of Trainer. Referee's microphone there playing up a little bit. <laughs> Feeling out process at the start here. There is that classic combination. So nice and early. What a snapping low kick from him. Almost a, a hint of nostalgia from the crowd, a real silence around this, just taking it all in. Absolute silence while we watch him in action. Good body kick there from the Spaniard. The Spaniard keeps his feet very close together sometimes. When he, when he moves back, he, he almost squares off and puts his feet right side by side. Makes him a bit of a target. Nice uh, body kick from him, Lopez. There you go, trademark trainer there. Left hook to the body, right low kick. Spaniard very respectful there. Not wants to touch gloves after every shot. Well, in with uh, potentially somebody that 
watched for a long time, Lopez. What we've seen and, and learnt from. So to be in the ring with him, it's uh, probably, in, in some senses of the word, a little overawing. Very true. Could well be. And a bit of redness on that lead leg of Lopez. Can't afford to give someone like Damien Trainer too much respect, though. If you sit back, give him too much respect, you could get yourself in a whole heap of trouble. As Trainer throws in one of those heavy low kicks. Not of acknowledgement there from Lopez. That body kick slammed in and another behind it. Already a few battle scars on the body of Lopez. A bit of reddening around the midsection and on the front leg too. Some of these shots are getting through as uh, round one comes to a close. Well, well, it's been a good night of action so far. Yeah, let like you say, it was an absolute silence where everybody is just so engrossed in this fight. Everyone wants to know how Damien Trainer's going to perform. And how does he look to you after four years out? Early impressions from round one? He's just taking it easy at the moment. I mean, there's always going to be a little bit of rust, a ring rust, but he's, a, like we say, he's a seasoned pro. He's had many, many fights. He's fought some top, top people in the world as well. And uh, you've been out for a couple of years yourself, Dave. Any any plans to follow in the footsteps of uh, of Damien Trainer or are the uh, are the days behind you now? Do you think? Oh, I'd love to. I got a child on the way in a couple of months, but after that, I'd love to. So watch this space. <laughs> we, we might be main eventing you yet, and I have to find myself a replacement. I have to get Andrew Tate back in. <laughs> I'd want to do it here if I'm doing it. This is a great show. Right now, round two, and it's Damien Trainer's time to shine. It's Lopez just pouring out that jab, measuring the distance, little low kick off the back of it. Trainer caught that reply with a stiff kick to the midsection. Oh, nice work from Trainer. Yeah, Lopez keeps landing that right body kick on him. lead left hook. <laughs> Lopez just always wants to touch gloves, very respectful. Good little chess match between these two at the moment. And real thinking performance, isn't it? Exactly. Nice jab it's there. Just takes uh, him off balance. Just a slip. Oh! Good catch of the teep. Overhand right from Trainer there. Seems to be warming into this a little bit more now. It. Trainer just opening up the valve, just testing himself, re-familiarising himself with his old ways. And so far, so good. Taking some heavy low kicks there. Good body kick for body kick from both gents. As we enter the last minute of round two. Not really seen the clinch tested much here yet. Both gentlemen preferring to trade on the outside. Longer range. Nice work from Trainer. Body kick, right hand. Response from Lopez though. Yep, two unanswered body kicks and evaded the return. It's a big welt on the uh, left leg of Damien Trainer where he's taking some of these low kicks. I think uh, he's just showing up under the arm there from those body kicks too. I think that's also to do with the fact he is extremely pale. 
You hit the sun beds before a, a <laughs> contest, Andy. 100%. <laughs> There we go, round two down in the return of Damien Trainer, And a little bit of stiffness on that front leg from some of the kicks there, but uh, how do you think he's holding up so far? Yeah, it's still really early days. I mean, Trainer won't get going yet until uh, this round. He's fine. We hope you've enjoyed the action tonight. Three rounds to go here in the main event. Love to hear from you. Get in touch with us on Twitter at Muay Thai GP, hashtag MTGP. We're on Facebook and Instagram too. So if you are here, upload any photos of the night that you have and hashtag us in those too. Again, full tie rules. So we have uh, a two minute break here, a little bit longer. Here we go, action underway in round three. This is where I'd expect the pace to change. It's getting a little bit heavier from both gents now. Spaniard looking uh, to want to close into the clinch there. Might not be the best idea against someone as versed as trainer. Very good clincher. Oof. Great push kick there from the Spaniard. Right underneath the neck of, uh, of trainer there. Yeah. The trainer's looking to get close and let the hands go now. Good combination from Lopez. He's uh, he's giving a good account of himself. Yep. He's fighting better than his fight against. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, he's fighting better here than he did against Daniel McGowan. Now you can hear the grunt going in from Trainer when he's putting these shots in. I must remember he took that uh, contest against McGowan at late notice. So perhaps we are seeing quite literally a better, more prepared version of him both in terms of his opponent and uh, his own conditioning. Very true. Nice push kick again, just knocking uh, Trainer back onto his heels momentarily. Trainer now looking to counter. But Lopez again, putting together some nice combinations with hands and feet. Yeah, he's linking his shots up well and he's got good work rate here. That's a right to the body from Trainer <laughs> Lopez. Lopez now shouting on every shot. That's the full Spaniard coming out in him. It's all very well showing him. If you're getting hit while you're doing it, it's not ideal. He is marking trainer up, though. Good strong block. Well, it certainly wouldn't have been any fun if it had been too easy for, for Damien Trainer, and perhaps we'd written that. Uh, Lopez off a little too early. He's really coming in. Nice right hand, left hook combination as they go into the clinch. Yeah, Lopez looking good here. And just exploiting perhaps that little bit of ring rust from Trainer. Lopez has fought far more regularly. Will be perhaps a little more ring sharp. And it's just showing great him body times kick. in there. Great left body kick and then count, uh, blocking the counter from Lopez. I think he's grown in confidence as the fight's gone on here, actually. Landing his body shot, uh, body kicks really well. Caught that rear leg and threw a couple of right hands over the top. Now no trainer's. trainer means business. Uh, just sensing a bit of urgency, isn't he, there? Nice uh, close, the trainer, but not a great deal else to <laughs> speak of in that round. You probably have to give that round to Lopez. with Andrew Tate for the final time tonight. It is the main event for Adrian Lopez coming up against someone like Damien Trainer. It must be intimidating given that he knows his record. Yeah, Damien's a very, very experienced fighter, but um, he's been out of the ring a little while. So in, in Lopez's head, he's probably counting on some ring rust. When you haven't been in the ring for a while, sometimes you can slow down a little bit. Sometimes your reactions aren't quite there no matter how much you trained in the gym. So that's what he was probably hoping for. And Damien seems to be doing quite well tonight so far, so. Yeah, that was a mock question. I mean, he's been out a long time, but he doesn't look rusty. No, no, I, 
I've seen the old Damien, and I know he can be a little bit sharper, but he still has he has the tools to get the job done, it looks like, tonight. We know he's the more experienced fighter, and he might be able to pull it off, so we'll have to see how it goes. It certainly looks like it's going to go to the wire. It is, of course, the main event you're joining us in. Adrian Lopez and Damien Trainer with third round. We've got two rounds left to go. It is live fighting here on Sports Night Live. And, uh, well, as we said, two rounds. We've got Andrew Tate with us. There we go. We were just filling for a second, but they're back. They're back to the fight. We'll hand you back over. Thanks, guys. Oh, the third and five rounds, or fourth, I beg your pardon, the five rounds hit. Yep. Damien Trainer up against it a little bit. It's the game and technically competent Adrian Lopez. Yeah, Trainer just pushing his glove back on there. No problems. Yep, rounds four and five, very important rounds in Muay Thai. Full time rules fight here. Lopez growing in confidence. A really strong third round from him. And uh, Trainer is trying to edge his way back into this one. Technically speaking, Dave, what do you think he can do to try and give himself the upper hand here? Anything in particular you're noticing? Any chinks in the armour of Lopez? Uh, yeah, he drops his hands when he kicks, and Trainer spotted that, and that's why he's catching kicks and coming in with hands. Watch him close the distance now. I think he's seen the openings. He knows what to do. <coughs> Lopez's hands are... Uh, Far away, you see. When he throws his shots, they come down more. See? Trainer's just going to step in on those punches, and one of them could be a finisher. Some interesting body language from uh, the Spaniard. But again, landing that body kick nicely. He's not giving Trainer any space to move or think. Nice high kick to the head there. Just partially Trainer blocked. saying, come on in. Big hands and a heavy low kick to finish from the Spaniard. It's just lulled into a little full sense of security. And his slightly subpar performance by his standards against Dan McGowan in November. And we really are seeing the full force of him. Yeah, some big shots going in now from both gents. Putting Damien Trainer under a little bit of pressure here. Whether, as Andrew Tate said in the interim, it is a case of ring rust and just that lack of sharpness. Combined with the Lopez is perhaps a little bit better than we have given him credit for. This is a, a very, very close contest indeed. Both men really marked up with that sort of blood blister look around the uh, the underarm that's it and uh, the hands from trainer are getting more and more venom in them as we go on though Lopez is strong pushing his man back good linking up the boxing and the kicking lots of redness on that front leg of Lopez one round more four. round to go. Well, it flew by round four. Got to say, Lopez is doing it for me. He's uh, he's doing well at the moment. Yeah, almost a surprise to everyone here, but he looks pretty confident. Yeah, he's scoring, scoring well with his shots, throwing more shots, landing more shots. Um, I feel the trainer was looking for the heavy hands there at the end, but getting countered quite effectively by Lopez. Your trainer would have benefited from perhaps a, a couple of tune-ups, maybe sort of 12 weeks out, eight weeks out, something like that, or is it just a case of getting back in there and, and doing what you need to do? I don't think you can you can gain the experience of a fight without fighting, and, and he's going to have had some heavy sparring in preparation for this. He's going to have prepared for it properly. The guys at K-Star and K-Star Legacy are not, uh, not amateur. They know what they're doing. He's been here hundreds of times before. Um, I think it's just a case of you've got to get in and do it. I think we might see uh, some heavy shots coming in this last round because wow. I, I feel that I feel blue corners up on points, but I'm not a judge. We'll see. So Damien Trainer on his return up against it, needing 
a big final round to overcome the Spaniard, Adrian Lopez, who's given a great account of himself. What has Trainer got left in the tank? Can he roll back the years here? Three decades of glory, and on his return, he needs to call upon that experience and all of those thousands of hours of training and sparring, competing. And there we go. First dump of the entire contest. Good work from him. Trainer seems to be waiting more than I've seen him before. And that's probably just because he's been out for a little while. Referee just going to split the clinch. Lopez loving that touch in gloves. Lopez now opens up with the hands and, and throws his man back. It's good, just use the momentum to turn Damien Trainer. Two minutes on the clock. This fifth and final round of the return of Damien Trainer. Trainer edging into distance. Oh, push kick right to the bottom of the jaw from Lopez, nice work from the Spaniard. Timing's good, he looks sharp, still looks pretty fresh too. And now he's willing his man on. Opens up with hooks, pushing him. He's trying to push him back through the ropes. Yeah, we're heading into this final minute now. Trainer just looking a little bit tired in the face. block from Lopez and just <laughs> straight back in. Lopez's face though. Terrific facial expressions from him. It's been an exciting contest so far and he's been real pantomime isn't he? Yeah. Oh lovely combination. Body head, body head from Lopez and now opens up again on trainer then driving the knees into the midsection. Yeah some good strong hands there from Lopez. No kick on the end though. Trainer clinching him. Oh, Lopez is just uh, out timing his man at the moment and really trainer's got 30 seconds to pull something spectacular out of the bag. That was a good jab, but again, Lopez takes it. A bit of pantomime, comes good back body at kick. him. Good scoring body kick in return. Can't help but feel it's too little, too late for trainer. Lopez just touching gloves to say, I've got it, but trainer's not going to give him it. He's going to go to the wire and take it to him. But I think it's too little, too late, unfortunately. Well, what a night for Adrian Lopez if the decision goes the way we think. Not the dream return that we were hoping for Damien Trainer. Not the performance he would have wanted to put in in front of the crowd. But four years out, it's not unexpected, is it, really? Nah, I think Trainer there saying he's tired. It's a tough ask if you're not fighting regularly, it's very tough. This sport is not for the faint-hearted. Well, we will go to the decision. The trainer looking a little despondent there, shake of the head. I think he probably knows that it wasn't to be tonight. long, illustrious career. And after those superb five rounds, your judges have reached a split decision in favour of your winner, fighting out of the red corner, it's Damian! Show your appreciation for our brave runner-up from Spain, Adrian Lopez. Okay. 
Damien, trainer, welcome back to the world of Muay Thai. First of all, tell us why you had a bit of time out, first of all. Um, I opened up my own gym, just in case I like to which is about three years ago now. And two years ago, I actually had my son, so I'd obviously put a lot going on, no time to train. But obviously, my beautiful girlfriend obviously actually left work and everything. Give me time to have to focus a little bit on the fight. Still not enough, but it's enough to get the win. Now you're back. You're back for real? Uh, <laughs> let me go home for a bit first. Never think, you know. See the legs. You know, a very, very, very close fight. Do you want to say something to your opponent first of all? Oh, that's what um, Adrian fight last time against Dan McGowan. Um, Dan was like a whole other level for him. Obviously, I can see that he's improved a lot for this one. Um, my hat goes out to him. It's real vast improvement as well last time. Damien, we hope to see you back here very, very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the legendary Damien Trainer. Come on! <laughs> and you join us for the final time. You've just seen Damien Trainer back after four years out to take the victory. It was close, it was a split decision. He got the job done, KB. That's all that matters. But the man that took him to that split decision is Adrian Lopez. Now, he doesn't speak any English. So we've got his trainer here. It was a very, very tough fight. A split decision. Adrian couldn't have hoped for much more. Yeah, uh, I think it's very close. Maybe he walks a little bit more, but um, it's okay. The decision is okay because it's very close, very close. And uh, he's very happy for fight uh, with somebody like him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Fantastic. Well, congratulations Thank still you. on the fight. Well done, mate. Well, well, Lovely well, well, to have Adrian Lopez uh, in the house with us. Now, Damien Trainer will be coming off. Of course, there's an awful lot of people that he's want to He's doing a lap of honour, I think, KB. <laughs> he is. Now, I do. I do hope that you've enjoyed the coverage here on Sports Tonight Live tonight. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the fights and myself and Dan. Well, I think we should give ourselves a gold star or two. I need to sit down. That's one, that's one thing for sure. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like we've done five rounds tonight. <laughs> I think everyone else is going home behind us, KB. We're, we're keeping the show going that's what we do. <laughs> now, of course, it is at the O2 Arena. It's been packed full of the crowds. The lights are going down behind us, but we are still waiting for our man, Here he comes. Damien Trainer. You left us in the lurch a bit there. Congratulations. Well done, mate. All right, cheers. Uh, I don't know what I'm to say. <laughs> well, back after four years out, what brought you back to start with? Um, it's, it's always my intention to obviously fight again. I never officially retired. Um, I said I opened my own gym, so I had to focus a lot on my students. And obviously I had my son who's almost two now. So and like, awake still. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> I probably be asleep, actually. I'm really glad he wasn't. But um, obviously I've just had like, a lot of time out. Like I said, like my girlfriend like, recently left work, which gave me a bit more time to be able to focus on training. Not enough to what I'd like, but enough to obviously get the win. OK, so you must have felt a little bit rusty still, but you still got the win on a split decision. It still must feel good to get that hunger. Uh, yeah, it feels good. I've seen a bit uh, disappointed a bit in my uh, performance. I've thrown a lot of like, single or double shots yeah, rather than like, the combinations that I'm known for. Um, I found it quite tricky to land on, so I kept kind of moving up a little bit, which obviously I struggled a bit there, to, but I started getting him a little bit towards the end. But um, I seen him fight uh, a few months ago, and it's a vast improvement now for what I saw before. So obviously my hat goes out to him. Obviously he's worked hard for, for this one. Yeah, you got the job done though in the end. What, what, what way to come back to the old two arena do it here? Um, it's been obviously brilliant. I've bought some like great venues, obviously in the UK. Obviously, O2 being one of them now. So obviously, obviously especially as well, I've liked the Muay Thai Grand Prix. Um, I know the promoters really well. I've known him for like, nearly 20 odd years. So obviously, it's a big honour to be asked to come onto the show and obviously come out of unofficial retirement to obviously fight again. Well, fantastic. What a way to finish tonight. Congratulations, right. Damien. Thanks Jr. a lot. Cheers. Thanks. Well done, well, done well. That is the end of the night for us here. Of course, it has been Sports Tonight Live. We've got Damien Trainer. Let's bring in Andrew Tate as well, four time world champion. He's helped us out all night. I don't think it would have been the same without him. Absolutely We've got Far over here in the corner. He's also helped us out. And the show would not have been complete well, without this little man. So it is from us all tonight, from me and Dan. Good night.